Is this something you all argue about a lot, Corey? No, no, no. Only when we talk. <laughs> okay, so this is a daily conversation, Nick, that comes up with your dad. He's, is he constantly writing you about going back to college? Yeah. How does that make you feel? He just doesn't see what I'm doing. He doesn't see all the work that I'm putting what in. What are you doing, Nick? Uh, day in and day out, I'm, I'm working as hard as I possibly can. You are dedicating yourself 100% toward 100%. your music career. 100%. You have a full-time job, too, don't you? Uh, just enough to b pay the bills and... Okay. And, well, I want to talk about that a little bit because, Frank, you actually were paying for him to go to college. You right. were investing in him. And I think maybe that's part of the... Part of the deal. Your dad was hoping, with his support, that you would go and finish college. So, do you have any interest, without your dad's opinion, do you have any interest in finishing college in any major that you choose? Because your dad's actually saying, whatever you want. You want to do music? Go for school, it. I was double majoring in math and economics. Mm -hmm. And I thought, if I put the same amount of effort I put into school, into whatever I choose, music, or w anything, I, mm -hmm. could, I could achieve it. Okay, Nick, so you're you not that interested in going to college. I don't think okay. I know. Do you see them as like a, it's a binary choice, one or the other? You, you don't see where you can maybe go to school and pursue your music? Because I think what if your I dad is saying, he wants, hold on, I think what your dad is saying, he wants you to like have the, the business knowledge and the understanding when you become successful, yeah. how to manage your money, how to you know, negotiate contracts, how to be, you know, astute about your career. So have you ever thought about maybe you can do both? I just, I just spend too much time making music. Um, you don't so think that you can find a balance between the two of doing some school and, and, and work if that would make your dad happy and not have him riding your back? Anything's possible. But yeah. I don't think it's the right decision for me. I Nick, see. So what is okay. your dream? What exactly is it that you want to accomplish? Uh, I just I want to be the best artist that I could be and one of the best artists Vocalist, in the Vocalist, songwriter, what the kind thing, of thing, all of them. Oh, Frank, but you don't good. think that he's dedicating himself 100% toward his career. He does he just spend a lot of time, he spends a lot of time with the music. He doesn't spend enough time trying to do the other things, like break down the doors that he needs to break down. That's the big issue. And you know that because you put a tracker on your son's phone, I right? Frank? That's right. He spent a lot of evenings in his apartment when he should be out trying to trying to meet, network, do what he needs to do. Yeah. Did you know about that tracker, Nick? No. Oh. <laughs> busted, busted. Well, your dad knows every move that you make. Yeah. And he thinks you're I at home too much. I guess I'm not going to know it anymore, am I? <laughs> no, no, not after today. No. So, Frank, you think Nick is at home working on the music when he should be out networking and trying to make connections in the industry? Nick's got a lot of talent. There are a lot of people out here with a lot of talent. Now it's about you really need to, yeah, do the but networking. Your, your dad you need to do. Your dad acknowledges that you're, you're talented, but his issue is that you're not driven. Do you understand that? Yeah. And that's why he doesn't have peace of mind? So maybe he wouldn't ride you as hard if you, he saw that you were driven. Are you putting your music out there? I mean, how are you getting out? How are you making money off of your music? I'm f I want to finish this first project. What's the idea behind it? Because I thought that was cool. Yeah, I came out here. Uh, I met somebody. I met a girl. Um, and That's how a lot of good uh, music starts. Yeah. yeah, and then... <laughs> and then? Fell in love. And oh. then got my heart broken. So it's like... It's a, it's a real story, and that's, that's what the album is, is nice. about, yeah. How many um, songs have you written? Hundreds, but on this album, there's only 10. Okay. Yeah. All right. By the way, I'm sorry to jump in. The album's been done since February, April, but he keeps fine-tuning it because everything has to be better. Hmm. So, and where do you think he learned that from, Frank? Yeah, we already know that. <laughs> Look. Um, yeah, from the time, time he was small, yes, it was always about achievement, not about, you know, fame or money or anything. It's about being the best at whatever you do. Right. My dad always said, if you're going to do something, do it right or don't do it at all. Right. And so that's, that's his... So his if your dad taught you that and you taught Nick that, yeah. why not be more patient and let him make the best music that he can make? Because he's not making Sgt. Pepper's or songs in the key of life. He needs to get his first album out there.